Community organizers and legal and labor activists announced a victory over wage theft in San Francisco's Chinatown Wednesday. Eight immigrant restaurant workers were awarded more than three hundred thousand dollars by their former employer for unpaid wages, tips, meal, and rest breaks. Advocates say these abuses are becoming a national epidemic and harming the overall economy. FSRN's Alex Kekowoha reports. In a packed meeting room at the Chinese Progressive Association's office, labor advocates announced a victory over wage theft. Today, the message is very clear that we are standing together in the fight to end wage theft, and there are many, many tools at our disposal to enforce the labor laws and end wage theft. Shawson Liu is lead organizer at the Chinese Progressive Association, which works on behalf of low-income and working-class immigrants in San Francisco. The group represented eight immigrant workers at Fo Clement Restaurant, who began their fight against their employer last August. They won three hundred thousand dollars worth of back pay and damages. Again, Shawson Liu. These workers were working,、um, you know, twelve or over twelve hours a day, six to seven days a week,、uh, without receiving overtime pay, minimum wage,、uh, not getting any breaks,、um, and oftentimes、uh, having their tips stolen.、Um, on top of that,、um, and really having、uh, even unsafe working conditions where they were working. But the abuses aren't limited to Faux Clement or the restaurant industry. Donna Levitt, a representative for San Francisco's Office of Labor Standards and Enforcement, says employers across the city have violated the rights of low-wage and immigrant workers. Unfortunately, wage theft is more common than any of us realize. There's an underside of the economy in San Francisco and th- throughout the country, where workers are paid often in cash, often monthly amounts, when calculated out. Uh, amount to much less than the required minimum wage, and they often work long hours without any overtime pay. Other labor advocates say wage theft is a national epidemic. It's the biggest crime that nobody talks about. Diane Enriquez is with Interfaith Worker Justice in Chicago, an organization that works nationally to improve wages, benefits, and working conditions for low-wage workers. Enriquez says wage theft results in serious harm to the U.S. economy. It affects everyone else on the national level in a very incredible way. I mean, when workers are not paid their wages and employers don't pay、uh, the wages that they're owed, they're stealing basically from the public coffers. They're not paying employer tax. They're not trickling down the wealth essentially. So workers aren't able to reinvest in their communities because they're not getting paid the wages that they worked for. Employers are not paying the taxes that are owed to the community because they're not paying the wages that they're supposed to pay. All eight Faux Clement employees have since left the restaurant and found new employment. Representatives for Faux Clement Restaurant were not available to comment on the settlement. Labor advocates also announced two other recent settlements, resulting in more than sixty thousand dollars paid by employers who stole workers' wages. Alex Kekowoha, FSRN, San Francisco.